A handful of parents and students were protesting today in Luzerne County. Their message is to get students back into the classrooms full time. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dunphy hears from those who are not happy with the current back to school plan. Uh, I try to get my kids back in school. Some parents and students from the Wyoming area school district are unhappy with the school district's back to school plan. As they protested Monday, one sign reads, Bring us back full time. Another, screens aren't cool. Wyoming Area School District plans to return March 22nd on a hybrid schedule. The superintendent Monday responding to the protesting, stating several surveys have been completed in order to get parents' opinions about return. There are various opinions and all are considered. But these peaceful protesters say it's not enough for them. Since I'm an auditory learner, it makes it harder that I'm not in the classroom. Having Hands on. Help. I don't understand why they can't do it five days a week and give the parents the choice uh, to either send their kids full time or stay home full time. So you're saying hybrid's not enough? Hybrid is ridiculous. Some students, like this first grader, just want to see their friends again. Some of my friends I used to have in kindergarten were my friends, and I want to meet them again. They're sending a mixed message that. You know, sports, it's okay. It's okay to have fun outside the building, but it's not okay in the educational setting. Parents tell Eyewitness News students also have concerns when it comes to changing classes. The high school is not allowed to have backpacks, so they will have to carry these plastic barriers along with. Uh, their Chromebooks throughout the building. The school district says the district will continue to follow safety protocol and extensive sanitation procedures. In Exeter, Julie Dunphy, 2822 Eyewitness News. Now, the school district says the administration and school board will continue to discuss some options as the school year progresses.